Hello, this is Ben Bryant. I'm going to show how you can split an XML file using the free first object XML editor. I've prepared a 50 megabyte XML file to split and this is the small full script that uh, splits it. You can use this same process on a file that's over 4 gigabytes. Um, this is not a particularly fast machine just to show you what I'm using here, 2.3 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of memory. I'm going to open up the 50 megabyte file in the editor. It takes about 1.3 seconds. What I've got here is a Shakespeare play which has five acts, but I've taken those five acts and copied them uh, so that I had enough to make up 50 megabytes. Um, you can see the titles of the acts are just inside of the act as a child element. And I can make those display in the tree by going into Tools Preferences and entering the tag name, act, and the child tag name whose value I want to display next to act. See how this shows now the acts in my tree. The five acts are just repeated in this file. Now if I double click on the last one, you can see here that I've got 1,025 acts in this file. What I want to do to split it up is I'm going to take five acts at a time and save them to individual files. I'm going to open up the script. It's a very short script. Um, and all it does is opens the input file for read. It loops through all of the acts in the input file. Remember there were 1,025 of them. And every time the object count is zero, it opens a new output file, adds a root element, and then adds acts into it until it reaches five of them and then closes the output file and then it would open another one with the file count one greater for write and then continue until it's looped through the entire input file. To explain better I'm going to step through this script as it goes and visually show you how we split up the input file. To step I press F10 and you can see it highlights the current line we're about to execute. So if I press F10 again here you'll see that the two XML C markup objects have been created over here and, are, and we can watch them in the debugging window. Now I've opened this object for read, the input object. So the display here shows that it's for read. Step here and I've created an object count and the file count for the number of output files I've created. I'm going to begin looping through the input file in just a moment. But first, let's view the input file. The CMarkup object shows essentially a window into the, the current block that it has read of the input file. So I have visibility into the process as I go. And I can also look at the output file as I create it. I'm going to step again, and we're about to find the first act in the input file. Notice how it shows me where I am in the input file. It also displays the path of the current main position in the input file. Now, I'm about to 
open the first file and I create the file name using piece plus the file count so it will be piece1.xml and open it for write. As I step over this line notice that it now displays that it's in write mode and now I add a root element and you can see it showing up here and also it says that the main position is root. Now when I go into it the parent position is root because I want to add the act inside of that root element. Um, this one line of code here transfers an act from the input file as an entire subdocument to the output file where I add it as a subdocument. So when I take that step, I can see now that I have an entire act inside of the root in the output. So I've added one act, I increment my object count. Now I'm going to find the next act in the input file. Notice how now it says act 2. I can see that I've reached act 2 there. Step again. Now I transfer over act 2 and it shows that I've added act 2 to the output object. I'm going to find the third act transfer it over to the output, find the fourth act, transfer it over to the output, and the fifth act, and transfer it over to the output. Now I've got an object count of five. When that happens, I want to close my output file. You'll notice here that it clears because it's closed. Now, when I go to the sixth act in the input file, I'm ready to open a new file. File count is now two, so my output file will be named piece2.xml. Add a root and continue adding acts to my second output file. Now I can just hold down the F10 key and start looping through. One thing you notice here is that as I've created 9 files, 10 files, 11 files, I can see the percentage of the input file that I have read through. Now holding down the F10 key and stepping through a line by line will take me a while to complete 50 megabytes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop debugging and instead just run it without debugging. It takes about three seconds and when it's finished it displays the number of files that I created because I returned the file count. Looking in the folder then I now have all my piece files right up to 205 and I can look at one of them and it shows that inside of the root I have five acts. Thank you.